a member of the women's hockey team from 2008 to 2012, Florence Schelling made an instant impact on her coaches and teammates. Starting in net all four years, Schelling helped build a culture of winning and excellence within the program and securing the Hockey East regular season title in her senior year. The four-time Olympian and bronze medalist for Switzerland became the first ever woman to serve as the general manager of a men's professional hockey club, SC Bern, in her native country. When I heard Florence was going into the Northeastern Hall of Fame, I was not surprised at all. Florence Schelling is arguably the greatest hockey player to ever come out of Northeastern men's or women's hockey history. Uh, so she's right where she belongs in the Hall of Fame. And this is another accolade to add to her deserving list. It feels like surreal. Uh, so it's it's just a great honor. I'm not sure what it feels like, but it's, it's pure joy. And uh, it's just humbling. Florence made an impact just, just in all kind of realms of life, um, especially on the ice. She just made me want to work harder. She just kind of instilled this sense of elite, like we had to be elite and we had to do things as, as best we could all the time. And then off the ice, she just was so mature. I, I often forgot that I was actually a year older than her. She came in with this maturity about her and just the way she carried herself. Everything she did, she did to the best of her ability. The only way to describe Florence Schelling is iconic. The way she carried herself on and off the ice, uh, it was strong, it was with passion, it was fierce, and it was unique. Every single time she played in a game, she gave us a chance to win. There was no doubt about that. We could have been outmatched, we could have been outranked, we could have been out anything. But because we had Florence in the net, we had a chance to win a game. For me, it was an awesome experience playing with her and it's definitely much more fun playing with her than against her. The shorthanded chance, Kieber on Schelling, save Schelling. She was super intense, very competitive, always wanted to win wanted to do what she could to help the team win. And her freshman year, I think we won 12 games. She was a big reason we won a bunch of those games. But as we got better and better and we recruited and, and better players came in, all of a sudden the team's having a lot of success and she had more support in front of her. It was great to see the program build up until her senior year where we won the bean pot, we won the regular season championship, and it really, really started to take off from there. Northeastern Women's Hockey is not where it is today without Florence. She came in, she turned us around, she was the reboot of a turning point for us. She just competed. She hated to get scored on. She hated to lose. She just had this gold standard where it had to be the best and we had to work as hard as we could all the time and we didn't really have that presence before she came in. It's just the passion I had for the game. I loved every every bit of the game and, and I enjoyed it so much being in that at Northeastern and, and getting to experience all of that and I think just putting all of that passion and, and heart into, into the sport is what made me so fierce. She was very important to me coming yeah, as a young player to the national team and my first Olympics because she had the same path in her life up until then. She was very young too when she first played with the Swiss team. She had some like nice words for me and I could always go talk to her if I, if I had any concerns or something that, that was bothering me. And coming to Northeastern, it was she was one of the main reasons why I ended up here. She brought me here. She showed me around and gave me insight and five questions about anything I can ask her because she, um, she's just a pro in every aspect. It's such an honor to be able to represent your country on the world stage. And, and then even like playing against your teammates such as Kendall Coyne is very special and I, I didn't like playing against her either because she scored so much, so. <laughs> Looking back, I dreamed about going to the Olympic Games all my life and then all of a sudden I was there and like I don't even think I really realized it that I was there because it was just like, it was so much to take in, it was, it was overwhelming.
Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald, shot, blocked by Shelling, rebound, Chance Shelling still got it covered up. I think you look at the, the body of work, not just in hockey, what she achieved here, and, and how she helped grow this program into what it is today, but I think you look at what she's achieved beyond Northeastern and the Olympics being an MVP, you know, winning a bronze medal. Now she's a general manager of a men's pro hockey team in, in Switzerland. So. She's done a lot for the game of hockey beyond what she did at Northeastern. You know, she's been such a great ambassador to women's hockey just from what she's achieved. And she should be proud of all that she's done. And it's gonna be exciting to watch her beyond in what she can accomplish.